What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. Finally, after a long wait, we have got the official version of WhatsApp application on the Galaxy watches running on Wear OS. Now, all this while, I have been running the beta program of WhatsApp on the Galaxy S23 series, and I was able to install the beta version of WhatsApp application on the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. And uh, I have already posted a few videos and I have also posted a video on how to install the beta version of WhatsApp. But now that uh, the beta version is no, no more available, uh, we have got the official version of WhatsApp. I'm going to show you how you can install the official version of WhatsApp on your Galaxy Watch. Now, this may not be available in all the regions. If it is available in your region officially, then you will be able to see WhatsApp on the Play Store. Now, this is a Galaxy S22 Ultra I've got here and this is the Galaxy watch for classic uh, i don't have whatsapp installed on this watch i'm going to show you how we can install it on uh, this particular watch now let me just tap on Wear OS application here and i'll tap on app screen and at the bottom we have got apps option here let me just open this and i will tap on featured apps all the way at the bottom we have got this featured app section i'll tap on this now you can see it says whatsapp for Wear OS is here now this is the official confirmation that the WhatsApp is now available on the Galaxy watches. And when I tap on this, it takes me to the WhatsApp application. Uh, but since I have already enrolled myself for the beta program, it says another account on this device. Uh, so and so email ID joined uh, this app's beta program updates to this app might include beta versions so uh, that is something uh, in my case uh, because you know I have already installed the beta program on another account on another device on this S23 Ultra so that is why I'm getting this notification here but if you're installing WhatsApp for the first time you will not get this kind of notification now there are two ways you can install the WhatsApp application on the Galaxy Watch one is by going to the Play Store on your phone, search for WhatsApp. I'm sure you would have already installed it on your phone. Uh, now, if you already installed it, you don't have to install it again. Now, here on this device, uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm again installing WhatsApp application. Now, while installing the application, it will show you multiple devices, which is uh, linked to the same account. As you can see on this S23 uh, Ultra, uh, it shows all these uh, devices, uh, the other mobile phones, as well as the Galaxy watches on which I have installed WhatsApp or I'm going to install. So I can select the one I want here. You may also get this kind of a menu or options here to install the application on your watch. So that is not showing up for me on this particular phone here. So on this phone, I have just installed it now. I'll open WhatsApp and let me just log in and come back guys. Now I got the WhatsApp on the Galaxy S22 Ultra, but the WhatsApp is still not available on the watch. Uh, because it was not showing me these options which was uh, showing up on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. By the way, I have also got this update here. Let me just update it for the beta version of the uh, application. This is how the options would show up while installing uh, the WhatsApp application. You can select the device which includes your watch as well. But for some reason, it is not showing up on my S22 Ultra. And if it is not showing up on your phone, what you need to do is you need to go to the Galaxy Watch, uh, go to the uh, Play Store on the watch. As you can see here uh, it is showing up whatsapp right here because i had already searched for it if it is not showing up just search for whatsapp application let me type whatsapp this qwerty keyboard is quite uh, intuitive by the way uh, okay i'm searching whatsapp here now you can see whatsapp application is showing up right here I can install the application on the watch itself. So if it is not showing up on your phone, you can install the application right on your watch. So let me tap on install here. It's gonna take uh, some time for the applications to install for some reason on the Galaxy watches. As you can see, this is about 20 MB. Uh, it's gonna take some time. So let me just come back to you after installing the application. Okay, now uh, the app has been installed, but it is asking me to update this application again. As you can see, it is showing me this update option. Let me update the application again <laughs> again it's going to take a couple of minutes so let's uh, download this and install this update it's about 1.5 mb update size we have got for the application okay now that the app is installed let's go ahead and open the application as you can see it's going to ask you a code and asking you to continue on the phone the same code has to be entered on the phone as well and once you enter the code it is going to get linked with your phone and all those chats are going to show up right here on your watch as you can see this is how the code will show up and just enter that code right here and your watch will get linked. That's all you need to do 
to link your watch to the phone and start using WhatsApp application. Now on the application, we will be able to see the WhatsApp chats. Uh, we'll be able to reply it. We can see the media like images we can see, uh, videos I'm not able to play back on the watch. The audio messages can be sent. You can record the audio right on the watch and send it across. And we do get some cool looking tiles which can be accessed from the watch's home screen. Uh, we can uh, see the contacts. We can send voice messages directly from these tiles. A couple of tiles are associated with this application. Now this is of course not a full-fledged application. Uh, it doesn't work like how it works on on the phone the uh, operations or the options would be very limited however uh, sending messages and receiving messages checking out the media files sending the audio files should not be a problem now on the bluetooth variant of course the watch has to be connected on the phone whereas on the lte variant the whatsapp app on the watch should be able to work independently you will be able to receive messages and send messages, send audio files, even if you don't have the phone with you. So that's how it should work on the LTE variants. I do not have a LTE watch here. I won't be able to demonstrate that to you. Uh, but on the Bluetooth variant that I have here, it has to be connected to the phone and it will sync the data with the phone. That is official WhatsApp for you guys. Let me know what do you think about it. Have you been a part of beta program and have you been using it? Let me know in the comment section. And if you were not able to enroll yourself to the beta, now you can install it officially on your watch. That's all I want to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I will be getting the Galaxy Watch 6 very soon, as soon as it gets launched, and you will see loads of contents about that watch as well. And if you want to learn your Galaxy phone better, be sure you subscribe to the channel. That's about it. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.